Hey, what's going on YouTube? This Southern Knights coming back at y'all with another video and I think I'll turn it this way. Um, you got Texas versus the Biden administration and that's why I'm going to title this video. Texas is basically pushing back against the Biden administration when it comes down to the oil and gas industry and the Keystone Pipeline. So they telling the Biden administration straight up, look, you not coming down here messing nothing up. We operating in a republic. Oh man. So, and, and anybody know that Texas is not really controlled by the feds like that. And they maintain certain stuff since the 1800s in the republic form of government also. So Texas, you know, and it was also one of the states that pretty much kicked off in the Civil War. You see what I'm saying? So this this is Texas got its reputation. Trust and believe me. You know, you know it might not be the Texas back in those days, but they still hold certain traditions and values when it comes down to their way of life being threatened. You know, so yeah, the. Texas, you know, in the Biden administration, Texas say pretty much pushing back. They're going to, you know, and you already know how they're going to deal. And this is go back to the video that I just recently did. Because it's a lot of stuff that's really going on behind the scene. And I just was, I was just talking about that in the video. You know, so Texas pushing back. And this goes to show you the will the executive orders create a civil unrest in the shift scenario or will it affect people down the line which a lot of people has been affected by his policies right now and texas is pushing back because you know the best way to get a man to respond is tap his pockets <laughs> so you know, and you ain't tapping Texas pocket like that without a fight. And because the governor done came out and said they not agreeing with none of the policies that the Biden administration is putting out and kill the jobs and the workers with the Keystone Pipeline. And if this going on right now, imagine when it get down to the whole Second Amendment gun grab thing. What do you think Texas is going to do? Come on, man. Come on, do y'all really live in like a delusional reality to make you think that people just gonna give them to you like that? Like, let's just be honest. Like, you dealing with states like Texas. Texas, <laughs> you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know, man. It's like people create, we in a time where people create their fairy tale realities. I guess, you know, hoping that it, it will become true and it, and I understand you know I do understand that you can create your own reality I'm a firm believer of that but you also you also got people out here that also believe that they can create their own reality also by disagreeing with your policies that you put in out with these executive orders and Texas is one of them and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot, a lot more southern states where they come from that will say no to the policies. And you already have, I got some pictures saved in my phone right now that I might put on my um, Facebook that people are saying that they regret voting for Biden soon that he got into the white house even though you had a lot of people was telling them about the Biden and the obama administration like they automatically went through the obama administration which is the same administration you see what i'm saying so if you got affected by the obama administration in some sort of way then you will understand that this one is going to be 2.0 you know and if you haven't learned from your mistakes from that administration then i guess you might need to repeat it again i don't know you know you might need you might didn't learn your lesson yet but yeah 
I'm just giving y'all the update about what Texas is really going on right now because you already know, you know, you, you don't mess with Texas like that. That's just that's just something you just don't do. <laughs> oh man. No, nah, that's just something you don't do right there. You don't you don't mess with Texas like that, you know. That that's a whole nother breed, boy. <laughs> you know. The South in general, but mainly Texas, you know. <laughs> Texas, man, like you you ain't gonna get pretty much nothing past on Texas, man, without, you know, like if, if something were to break out between the federal and the states, Texas will probably be a key player into it because they're going to be the main ones that's going to be cause the more resistance or be the more resistant. You know, they might follow along with some of the stuff, but if it looked like you infringing on certain stuff, no, nah, they're not going to go for it. You know, and I'm seeing some of these sheriffs out here, a lot of sheriffs in North Carolina is not passing, saying that they will not comply either, you know. And I talk to a lot of them all the time, you know. And when I'm in these gun shops, and when I, you know, go for my daily firearm shopping, you know, I talk to a lot of sheriffs and a lot of them saying that they not going to comply with certain gun regulations. And these counties, so I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, it, it's the tables turning. Like I'm, I'm feeling the shift. Like if, if anybody can understand how to feel energy, you can feel the shift. You can just, you can just feel it. It's like the energy is flowing through me, and it's like I'm feeling the paradigm shift. Like you just got to slow down and be in tune with it, you know. But yeah, look out for tenses. You know, Texas is in the scene now, you know, and you already know. And it, it was a conflict between Texas and the United States before. And there's always a little conflict between them to the point where Texas probably be the first one to secede out of the union again. You know, they, they probably be the first ones that become their own pretty much state. Well, I would say country because the states are really countries. If you look back in the Revolutionary War where people call it the, you know, the Ohio country, the, you know, the Virginia country, you know, even though the Virginia was a company starting in Jamestown, Virginia, that was actually the first corporation that was on this land when they overthrew Montaoka, which was a code name, which was my ancestor, Pocahontas. You know, because we consider all our family members, no matter what land or territory they own, they are family members. You know, so my great ancestor, Mata Oka, a.k.a. known today as Pocahontas, that was in the Virginia area in the hills, she pretty much was the queen of that area. So, that's basically what it is, you know, and, you know, Texas is going to hold it down, <laughs> you know. Not to get off the subject, but Texas is going to hold it down, you know. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. See y'all with another video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Feel free to donate to the cause. And I'll catch you later. Peace.